How you doing, young fella? What well, you been up to, Stan? <laughs> Good to see you. Nice, yeah, nice day to go riding, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. If you can't, catch me. <laughs> when we're getting ready to go on to asphalt, horses that aren't used to being on asphalt, you need to be mindful because sometimes they'll want to jump. And so right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take hold of this horse's feet through his mouth and, and see if I can get this horse to just take a step at a time and let him, let him feel that asphalt with a foot before I actually have him go ahead and step on. Very, very good. Now then, let's go on. If they jump, sometimes they'll slip and just fall right on you. <laughs> Yeah, whenever, whenever a horse is, is obviously looking for is something to jump at, I take the precaution of shortening up my bridle reins and getting one hand on the saddle, saddle horn, and see if I can keep forward motion going, and see if I can step through, because he's stepping into territory, we're, we're taking him into a tight spot here that he might not want to go into. I'm going to ask him to go forward, Just keep going, relax, there's a stump right there, Judy, you see it? Pardon me? You see that stump right there? Right there, just, no. just at the opening, see it behind that weed? Yes. Now, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. now typically, that is something that horses don't see, they're looking beyond that. Mm -hmm. But when they get right beside it, it's not, not surprising if they look down. I'm not going to look at it, but I'm going to keep keep looking ahead but I'm aware that this horse might see that stump and have to either go by it faster than I want or jump sideways. I'm going to let him step. I'm going to sit here a minute. He sees that stump and I'm going to let him just have a minute Now I'm going to ask him to go forward. I'm using my left leg right now. So why do you think I would be using my left leg only? He's looking to the right, and he's bent to the right, and I need to reassure this horse that he's got a left side. And if he, so he it, take off to the left. well, not so much even taking off, but so he'll look straight and and just go on by and make this crossing right here non-event. Left leg, see him going away from that stump. He's really looking at it there. Now we've stepped on by. How's your horse doing? Fine. You're fine? I to eat the tree. Okay, don't let him do that. Not a bad. Alright, we're doing fine. He was more interested in the leaf and the tree to the left. I now remember he was a tree eater. Now we're getting ready to go through two a rock on each side. So this is a a squeeze spot in mentally for the horse. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look on beyond it, not pay any attention to the rocks, but but stay aware of them, and realize that those rocks are gonna tell your horse to do something maybe that we don't want. There we go. Now we've stepped on. Good. Perfect. Here we are back to asphalt. So again, when the asphalt shows up. We don't want him to jump up there on it. You hear him snorting and blowing. He sees that sign over there. Get forward, there's no cars coming right now. Very good. Just let this happen. As quick as I can, I like to get off of asphalt. Unless I've got some kind of drill tack or bore them on my shoes. Not quite so bad like these horses are barefoot. You see, it, that would, that's just a bird. But, uh, you know, if, you're, if, if he would have jumped like that when we were on that asphalt, yep. he might have slipped, you see. So as quick as we can get over that asphalt and get on good ground, even if they get a little bothered, we can ride them through stuff. 
I didn't hear what you said, Judy. I didn't hear. A bit. Oh, well, they're barefoot and we're on gravel. <laughs> get down in the timber with the horse that you're in an environment they're the most comfortable in so it's it's that stuff of domesticity that, that we just came through asphalt cars trailers things that aren't in their world naturally those are the things they get a little bothered about you know generally if we're, if we're down in the woods they don't have any problem at all and that fact if I'm on a horse that's unsure I, I, my first place I like to get with them is down where I could ride around trees and and just you know ride them and start directing their thoughts, directing their feet, and then then we usually don't have any problem whatsoever. But see, we've already came through several situations before we got into the trail. You know, we're on a road right now, where, so it's not actually a trail, but we're getting ready to head off into a trail. But we've come by several situations where if we hadn't have been mindful of it and approached it in a, in a way with some thought and been there in a securing way for these horses, they might have gotten a little scared back there and we would have had issues to, to work through. But because of how we, we were there for them, it turned into a non-event. Now they should be, we ought to be able to loosen up on them and let them relax here now. And we've... We've stepped off into mud here, and uh, sometimes a change in footing will produce a little bit of anxiety, but pretty much a non-event right there as it should be. Let me go back just a second. Just wait right there for a second if you would. Now, Judy, turn around and, and just walk about 30 feet that way and then turn around and come back this way. Just pick up with both hands towards your, don't just use that inside rein. Remember, we got this horse riding one-handed. Judy, I need you to breathe and relax and sit back. Yeah. You're, you're on point here like this, like you just saw a cubby of quail, and you got your feet out behind you and your chin's out in front of that saddle. That posture is telling that horse, look, something bad's getting ready to happen. Right. Relax, set, put a little more weight in those stirrups, put your feet down, put your left leg on that horse right there, hold it there, hold it, don't kick him, just hold it. Now, loosen up a little bit on the brow range. You got him so tight, you got nowhere to go. Oh, he's, he's yeah, that's all right. That's just, that's what we're, that's why we're spending this time here. So, now just squeeze him and get him to step forward. There you go. Now. Turn, turn around to the right here. Now, just turn around and come back to me. There you go. Come forward. I want you to get comfortable with this horse. Now, look over your right shoulder. Lift quietly to your right shoulder with both hands. Put your, <laughs> put your left leg on him. Put, don't pull him so much. See, we got to have forward motion. Don't don't force him in the back. And here's, I'm going to show you what I want you to do. See, I've got him relaxed here. But, but, well, he, we're we're out of his we're out of his element, and he don't know what that is. It 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 could be something that now just wait there. I want I want to do what I want you to do. So, so I'm I'm stepping forward. I've decided I want to turn back around. Just wait back there, dude. Don't don't come with me because I'm going to turn around and come back. And this is what I want you to do because your horse is your horse is right now. He's up. And, and he's, he's feeling, he's reading you. So I need you to relax. I need you to, I need you to breathe. Sit down, just look back there and ride back towards the camera. Just, just ride that way. Put your hands down, get out of his mouth. Now, look back over here at me and come towards me. Just keep going back and forth there for a minute like that. And look over towards your left shoulder. There you go. Now put your hand down. Let him go. Now look back towards me. Both hands up towards your right shoulder. Put your outside leg on that horse. When you make that turn, 
secure him with that outside leg so that he comes on through so that we get we get uh, we're doing this to get these horses comfortable right here they're a little bit tight tighter than we need to do see those trees just go out there and start riding around those trees and, and you just like this you're going to look where you're going and and just stay out through here basically get his mind off of his fear get his get his get his thoughts in your hand down to his feet ride that horse around direct those feet direct those feet don't let that horse get up tight and bothered and, and no leadership now you go right and go you you take away from me you see you're going to feel insecurity come up in him when you get over there by yourself feel that just keep going around them trees and you're doing just fine look where you're going ride where you're looking keep breathing and put your reins together they don't have to be way out here put them together right in one hand you know and, and take your there you go just like that lean back a little bit in that saddle scoot up in the saddle keep your seat bones in that on that seat of that saddle bump him a little bit with your legs and get just a little more forward See how bowled up he's still? He's not as relaxed as he needs to be. So that's what we're doing here is getting this horse more relaxed. Put your reins together and when when you when you lift up, just, just look this way and, and use your outside leg. So I've got both reins together and I'm lifting up towards this shoulder and I'm using this outside leg and he should just move away from it just like that. Okay? There you go. See if you can go a little bit faster, Judy. Just just look where you're going and keep riding where you're looking. If you take him just a just a slight bit faster than he chooses to go, that puts you in the leadership role. Takes him out of it. If he's picking the speed and he's picking the path that he goes on, he's in control. So you need to be real decisive. Look where you're going and ride where you're looking. Put your hand down. Get out of his mouth. Leave that horse, let that horse have some freedom when he's right. That freedom from your hands when he's listening to you is the best reward you can give him. If he doesn't get that freedom, he's got no reason to relax. There you go. You're doing just fine, Judy. You're doing just fine. You hear that uh, truck? I don't know if it's going to come by, but be aware of it. You, all, all you need to do is be aware of it. Don't, don't panic about it. If he comes by, that's all right. Just go with it. He's probably not going to come by. Let's see how that noise, you know, sounds more like some kind of a, a animal growling or something. <laughs> that's, how, that's the perception that a horse would have. You feel him letting down? Let your hands come down and, and just relax, relax in your body. Breathe deep. Let him hear you exhale. Keep your hands down. Don't let him see that. See, when he's reaching for them trees, that's the same as grazing. Don't let him do that. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling, feeling different now? All right, let's stop right there. Very good. Now then, we'll, we'll head on down the trail.